I think it is that we get to the point in the game where it, it comes, do we bowl Majeev or do we try and put the game out of the other team's reach and save him to bowl the last over? Um, you know, today was a crucial, crucial moment in the game to try and break up the partnership of Tawadi and, and Shriaz, and that's probably why I bowled, I think it was the 17th? Yeah. So it was just some 18th over. So, yeah, it was just uh, a spur of the moment, try and get that wicket, break that partnership, and, and then get ourselves taking it to the last over and backing the young fella in. in. You never know. Um, in the IPO, you, you saw last night's game that it went down to the wire and Galtham um, smacked them. So, you know, nothing's ever out of reach unless it's 37 or more. Um, so I guess, yeah, it, it, it's at that sort of crucial time that it, it'll need something special from a batsman batting point of view. And, you know, the way Shriass has played tonight, he, uh, he was definitely the man for the job for them. Um, so it could have been close, but you know we were just trying to do our best, and and luckily Majib did the job. There's been a lot of talk of how the Fredward to chase you as bowlers. How do you do? How do you assess the thinking of you know, defending a total and something as low as this? If it's uh, if defending a low total easier than a, a big total. Sometimes you never know because at, when you're bowling second, uh, we got a, a good view of what their bowlers had done, especially their pace bowlers, how the wicket had reacted. Um, you know, coming from Perth, we defend low totals a lot, so I had a, a good sort of experience in that side. So yeah, sometimes it can be low totals. You, you know, you're going out there that you have to start well. Um, the power play is crucial and. Yeah, you get you get a chance to see how the wicket's playing, I guess. But you know, sometimes it's always nice to be defending 200 plus. So it'll just have to be, and uh, we just go out there and do our job. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You can't you can't always do what you want. So, when you're going into the tournament, you have to be prepared to do both sides. Sometimes you'll be going out there trying to restrict a team bowling first um, to a total that you think is under par, and then at times like tonight, uh, trying to defend a, a reasonably low total. But I think it was actually probably a pretty par score for that wicket. Um, so yeah, it's these things that, that you just got to come in and you chat amongst yourselves in the group and and try and get the understanding of how to go about it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, coming here, we, we weren't quite sure what the w wicket was going to be like. Um, even looking at it, you still couldn't quite tell. Um, it had a little bit of grass on it still, so... I guess it uh, might have been a blessing in disguise having, having to bowl second on that wicket and understanding um, how they bowled on it. So, yeah, it, it's something different. You don't get a lot, a lot of wickets like that around in the IPL anymore. Um, but, yeah, I think it's good, you know. It, it obviously created a very good, fiercely competitive game between the two teams. So I think it, as long as that's the, the trait for the wicket, well, then I think it, it's good. But, you know, they, had, uh, they played probably the extra bowler today with um, Liam Plunkett coming in and he did pretty well on that wicket. So I think they played, they produced a wicket playing to their strengths for that team. So, you know, we might have been a bowler short, but I think we, we've we won, so it, it worked out. All done. Now, there wasn't actually any dew out there tonight, which we, we all know that coming here, that there is sometimes a lot of dew, so I was a bit surprised that there wasn't any when I rubbed my hands on the outfield when I was getting ready to bat. So, yeah, that was um, that was happy, and I think that's part of the reason why Gorton probably wanted to bat for, oh, sorry, bat second and chase, because it is, you know, it does dew up here and skid on a bit better in the second inning. So, 
yeah, that also played into our favour, which we're, we're pretty lucky for. Um, at times, you know, when you get the chance to, you can. Um, you know, I've at times been bowling in the nets and had a couple of bottles of water or a bucket at the top of my mark. And I'll just dunk the ball in it before I bowl, trying to practice it. But that's the thing, like, you got to figure out what works for you. Um, and, yeah, but luckily we haven't been able to have, have a practice session sort of in the last week or so. We've, our schedule's been pretty hectic, so... Um, yeah, you know, it might be something to keep in mind coming to the back end of the tournament. Thanks, Thanks guys.